technology is usually a solution to business problems and an essential tool for growth. But in the financial services industry, it's driving a wave of disruption affecting the entire landscape. While some believe adopting blockchain, big data, robotics and analytics into their existing business models will be enough, my next guest says there's a much more radical shake-up on the way. He believes the key to survival will be how companies position themselves strategically into the new ecosystems made up of smaller, more agile companies that are entering the market. He's Peter Brady, innovative consulting leader for RSM, the fifth largest accounting firm in the United States. I'm Angela Corp. Welcome to the business debate. Peter, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Thank you, pleasure to be here. So what are the unique challenges facing the financial industry in the near to medium future? Yeah, in the near to medium future, I, I think you know, the best way to look at this is to start out very big and look at what's going on in the world and the demographics and the socio-politics of things. So you know, think about China. China is growing about 7%. That actually means creating a new country every year the size of Norway or Australia. You know, so a very, very large growth is feeding a population that's hungry for the kind of financial services that we've been used to in the West. Um, you know, another uh, shift that's going on more in the West this time is the fact that we're all living uh, a little bit longer. Uh, the baby boom generation, the back end that I'm part of, you know, that's had to take care of their own pension, you know, is now looking at 10 years towards retirement age and then a lot longer after that. You know, all of that is impacting financial services and you know, creating great opportunities for those that are going to succeed. How are changes in technology impacting the way business is being done now and will be done in the future? Um, well, we've all seen you know, the, the cell phone that, that now all of our transactions, all of our lives are coming through. And I don't know whether that's going to be the gadget that, that we're working with in the future, but you know, I can tell you that the Uberization that's happened as a result of that is, is only going to get you know, more so. So you know, this generation now wants services brought to them. They want to have to go and buy things. And that has an impact on financial services. So we're likely to see with the advent of AI, with machine learning, maybe even with blockchain, you know, an ecosystem of financial services being delivered to these people rather than them just going to the same bank and getting all of those services from one place. So you know, that, that's creating a vastly different landscape for financial services in the future. And who are going to be the winners and who are going to be the losers here? Mm. Well, you know, those are the, that lose are not going to know their place um, in this new kind of landscape, essentially. Those that win have figured out where they want to play. So the incumbents are actually struggling right now because they have this large cost base and, you know, they're beginning to use robotic process automation, uh, automation sorry, to, you know, reduce their costs. But the reality is once they've all done that, um, there's no competitive advantage and the savings will be passed on to their customers anyway. So, you know, although that's in vogue at the moment, there's a lot of work there, um, it's really those that decide where they want to play and then investing in those areas. So do they want to be the curator of services from a number of different providers and that really making that uh, relationship between the customer very, very strong? Or do they want to be the product which is being curated by other providers? And knowing that and getting that strategy right is the key to success. We hear an awful lot about blockchain. Do you think it's really going to be a game changer or is it just all hype? Uh, blockchain, it's here. Um, it's, it's working. We've got lots of examples of it working. In fact, I described this to somebody the other day like you know, electricity in the late in 19th century. We all know it works. We've all seen examples of it, but it's not lighting the streets yet. Um, but it will be coming and, and it will be game changing. A lot of the transaction processing, the reconciliation, the movement of information between different parties, that, that will be gone, frankly. And you know, if I was to predict the time frame, well, you know, regulation still hasn't caught up with the technology. So you know, once the world gets its act together around that, I think we'll see it become ubiquitous in financial services. So what areas do you think your clients may struggle with? I think two areas, um, cybersecurity and kind of data governance. Cybersecurity, because you know, in this new kind of environment, the whole ecosystem is dependent on the weakest link. So if someone can get in, through you know, one of these entrepreneurial companies, they can really basically get to the data for the whole organization and you put your customer's information at risk, which nobody wants. Secondly, with automation, you know, decisions are being made based on data and algorithms. And if there isn't governance over that, you know, it's going to be machines making terrible mistakes again and again and again. Clearly, nobody wants that either. So those are the two things people will struggle with most, I think. And how are you going to help them to be successful? 
Yeah, I think RSM is actually uniquely placed um, to add value to our clients in this new kind of environment that we're seeing. So, you know, we, we started off and we have a very strong focus in the middle market. And yet at the same time, you know, we have the heft of the fifth largest firm in the US accounting wise and the sixth largest accounting firm in the world to be able to help those incumbents as well. So combine those two things together, I think it's something special. Um, we bring top-notch security and privacy, data governance, risk management, process improvement specialists to bear. We're working with the largest companies today on this and we'll continue to do so tomorrow. And what will happen to companies that don't embrace the changes you say they need to make? Yeah, I mean, in a word, you know, basically Kodak. You know, look what happened to them when everyone started using digital photography. They, you know, they're a name of the past. Um, that's where you don't want to be if you're a large financial services company. Peter, thank you very much for joining us today. Not a problem at all. Pleasure. Thank you. And join us next time on The Business Debate when we'll be discussing mergers and acquisitions. Until then, goodbye.